All right, let's try to pick it up on page 160 and kind of explain what this is. So we've got the graph in hand, <clears throat> so now we can interpret the betas. So let's first of all take a look at beta naught and beta 1. Remember that beta naught was the mean business score. And then to get to the male bio score, we had to add both the business score and beta 1, which gives you the male bio score. So that's what we say, the adjustments to the male business majors mean, that's the green one, plus the male bios majors mean, which was the blue one. I mean, so beta 1 is the blue and beta not. And so to get to the male bios mean, you have there. All right, let's take a look at beta 2. Again, we have uh, the, the business majors mean, but we've got to add on a negative. And so this will be a negative, and that puts us out. So beta not plus beta 2 will then give us the adjustment to the male bio business majors mean or obtain the male regions. That little block was beta 2. Let's then look at beta 3. This is the adjustment to the male bio business majors mean to maintain the male PE majors mean. So again, this is the male bio majors mean, that's beta naught, and then we have to add on the PE, uh, the adjustment to get to the PE majors mean. And so that's what we mean by um, beta 3. And then beta 4 is the adjustment the male business majors mean to obtain the male psych majors means. There, there were no male psych majors, so we wouldn't have on there. All right, now let's take a look at beta 5. This is the adjustment for the male business mean to obtain the, for the female majors mean. Okay, so the female one is beta 5. This is beta 5 plus beta naught, and then that gives me my female business majors mean. So any female is going to have both of these. Everybody gets a beta naught, and everybody gets a female if they're in a female major, or if they're a female major. So let's go to bio. We have beta naught plus beta 5, but remember also we turned in beta 1, so we have to adjust it. Um, by a negative amount to get to uh, the female majors um, part, and that was our yellow, our beta 6. All right, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, let's do one more with the PE majors. We've got the, this is the male business. Then we got to turn them into females. And then to get to the, to the, business, to the PE majors, we had to do that. So let's add all three of them on there. And then uh, beta 8 will be this negative amount to get it back. So you've got beta naught plus beta 3 plus beta 5 plus beta 8. And so this beta 8 then is the adjustment um, to the sum of the PE effect plus female effect, which is needed to in order to obtain the female PE majors part. All right, so those all have the adjustment to them. So they all adjust it to get to get that. So if you're female, you have four four blocks to it. And then the psych majors we didn't look at. So the role of the predictor betas in our example, and these are the measure of the departure for parallelism. Remember, if there's no interaction, they're roughly parallel. Like between the others in PE, that's why I could use the, the same red. These are roughly parallel. But if there is an interaction, like maybe sort of like between the business and the business, um, or the females between business and bio, and the males between business and bios, maybe there's some interaction between the genders there. And so the question is, does this effect of one factor depend on another factor? And this is a question where there's interaction between the factors. So I hope this sort of visual helps you realize the beta knots and beta ones and the adjustments that you need to make.